fall back on a weak side pick like Darius Mundo, maybe even a Renekton here. Uh, I do think that they, uh, uh, he, he should be picking Darius. Yeah. It, I, I, it's as, the best pick the, here, right? Yeah, it's the best pick. And as you know that all mm. of the teams played Darius as a weak side. Yeah. And it's still coming out so strong. Yeah, even he's though one of the he, best. Like, Zero to, zero to E, right? Wow, Flash there you Wolves. Go. Okay, so this was exactly what they wanted to do last game, but it was yeah. denied from them by the lock yeah. steal from Hamas. So this really shows that Flash Wolves, yes, indeed, they were planning for the setup, but Team Secret, so good at identifying, so good at recognizing these things in draft. Now, Flash Wolves, I would say this is as close as you can get to the dream Flash Wolves composition. Galio Gragas banned away, no problem. We have the Sona Lux combo to buff up our front line. Now, how's they, how are they gonna Could round this off? Oh. There we go, Ocean, right? They're gonna need the DPS. They're gonna need the, someone to hit the turrets to really just take down objectives for them. And this Lucian fills that role so well. Really nice draft coming in from Flash Wolves. I think that this draft gives them the best chance of winning they've had so far. And if they can't win this game, Team Secret, they deserve to win. Yeah, and uh, you know what? That with that draft, as you mentioned, that that is the best possible draft for Flash Wolves. It seems like Team Secret wants to meet them at their very best yeah. in order to get past that hurdle. They're like, you know what? Let's bring it all out. No holds barred. You're not crippled. We're not crippled, and we're gonna give the very best indeed. Jess, what are your final thoughts with this draft? It's either Bruce Shaw or a, a power of a uh, flower and friendship from Team Secret. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh, we're possibly. gonna see indeed. I'm, I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to keep my feelings, trying to relax myself over here. Um. Who? I'm taking deep breaths right here because we are going into game number two with Team Secret and Flash Wolves casters. Over to you guys. Thank you very much, Mika. And now we're here for the match point for Team Secret. Only one game away for pushing Flash Wolves to go into the lower bracket finals. And Rico, I'm excited. We're seeing the Sona Lux once again for Flash Wolves. And you know what? We're seeing friends and flowers for teams you can as WTJ has stated in the analyst desk. Yeah, I love it. Friends and flowers on the side <laughs> of Team Secret. And we're seeing a bit of a sample of that right now. This four man death brush that can potentially get first blood or even burn a flash up against bruce and we're seeing trevor back at it again on this vi which is an answer mostly towards teams that have single threats and i'm talking about bruce locking is not going to be a threat on this sona ysera can potentially be a threat cookie as well towards the late game but we all know the way that flash wolves moves the way that they play their game is Bruce is going to be basically empowered by locking in Ethan with a lot of shields with a lot of heal. We've seen this iteration before, the unkillable comp, when there's an Olaf on your side, and most of the time, it is surely banned. So this, I like this answer. It doesn't hurt their sieging potential, their tower takedowns as well, because they have consistent range damage coming from Bruce. Yeah, and I'm glad that you mentioned about it because Flash Wolves at this current composition needs to play late game, needs to play for that um, potential of increasing their power spike with this Sona and Lox composition. And they have to wait for that opportunity because Lucian, yes, AD scaling, not that much that we saw from release, but still, when it comes to crit damage, Bruce is an absolutely insane champion to play against. And I think that is what Flash Wolves is looking at. They have locked on to Lucian. They want to match that up. You know what? Your tank is not going to be a tank up against me. And I think Bruce is waiting for that opportunity. I think that's the that's the mission now for Team Secret is to basically try to deny Bruce in reaching the, the scary Lucian point where it's what? 100% cooldown reduction on paper and as well as 100% crit where every single auto attack is just going to be able to proc that critical strike. So with that said, Team Secret, I mean, they've done it before basically having to strong arm via 5v5. Look at this though. Yeah, Blast Cone puts them closer into Cookie and his arc comes into fray, forces that to flash Cookie. Now Flash Wolves gotta go home, cannot go for the jungle invade and Team Secret successfully pushes them back off. They're gonna take the blue buff for Chewie here based on their movements as they didn't abandon the blue buff. So it's gonna be very interesting towards the lane. I suppose more spammability on the IK than rain for that wave clear, considering the fact that locking is assisting Bruce at the top portion of the map. Look at Azar, he's so close to dying. Close, close yet so far. 
Because <laughs> Team Zeta yeah. Bazaar is still alive, you know what forces out um, just that pressure coming from flash rolls. And um, I think the blue buff that you mentioned into the mid lane, because you're looking at Tatsuri going into the bot lane, right? It's a switch between the dragon lane and the mid lane, and I think it changes things up for this game number two for Team Seek and the Flash Wolves. Yeah, I suppose so. And to try and prevent from Cookie just trying to steal it right under their noses. Um, considering the fact that, again, this is the the AD carry, the duo lanes on the mid lane, basically. We're looking at Bruce being the ADC of the team. I mean, I mean, he did have years and years of experience during League PC days as an AD carry. I believe back during with Machi. And this is something that is very familiar to him. And it is locking, again, that is sort of relegated in these points where sometimes he's going to be the AD carry if Bruce is on a mage. Sometimes he's there uh, to be that mage utility for Flash Wolves. Yeah, and when you talk about Flash Wolves, I do agree that foundation coming in from them is an absolute um, armory or ammunition up against Team Secret in this game. But looking at Team Secret also, I'm looking at Tatsuri. When we're looking at him, he popped off a while ago, 27k damage on Ziggs. Now with a different rune with the Font of Life. I think he wants to be that team player for this game number two to change things up and confuse Flash Rules on what they want to do. Yeah, being able to proc that very, very easily with the range, with a lot of abilities, with a lot of spam ability. And now Flash Wolves, of course, they're still looking into the first fight. Now that the objectives have spawned, it is that reset. They're going to be looking into these fights, 5v5, try to challenge Team Secret, and see that 50-50, whether or not Bruce gets early kills and is enabled that potential snowball. The thing is, Team Secret always has this answer, this Vi that is going to basically lock in Bruce immediately. But the thing is, remember, Two shield sources, by the way, from locking in Eason, therefore denying the potential burst that may come from a secret. Yeah, and when you're talking about burst, it's Tetsuri once again. So I think Tetsuri is going to be much more harder on dealing damage up against Bla Flash Rolls, as you stated. But Flash Rolls, once again, taking on to the Cloud Dragon, while Team Secret, I think, may focus on to the Rifter. I'll take it for a one for one objective for both teams. I think if they're going to set up for a dive here, an established Rift Herald, it's going to be difficult because Ysera is on a Riven. Very slippery, wild, squishy. There's just a ton of outplay potential. So Ysera sees this coming. And look at that. Cookie's able to clear the wave from across the map. Two waves, actually, from mid and then top. But at the same time, First Blood Tower means the gold swing will be in favor of Team Secret just a little bit. It's just going to be a trades of objectives for now. But the thing is, remember, Tatsuri is on this Ziggs. Therefore, keeping the Rift Herald still intact, meaning they can still potentially open up mid lane very easily and see if they can provide and uh, get value more on this Rift Herald. Yeah, and if they get the mid lane care one turret, it's going to be so much value for Team Ticket, as you stated, because they have the control in topside quadrant of the jungle for Flash Roll. It's going to be much more harder for Cookie to go around, play around, and even for Isara as well. Tatsuri? He's, gonna be he's fine. just gonna fast. He's, yeah. <laughs> he's gonna he's, back he's off. <laughs> it's two man drone for flash rolls. He cannot go for the 1v2, especially having the zigs so much damage or so much pickoff. But here in bot lane, it's a different story. Now gonna be locked on onto Isra. Two man oh. stun is gonna be Trevor. massive for them. Pushes down onto Trevor, Trevor because he is one Ooh. HP. Hammers comes into fray. He wants to save Trevor's life. Rift Earl gonna be popped off. Summoned here in the dragon lane. And flash rolls cannot defend. Therefore, Team Secret takes their second turret in this game, too. Yeah, the final spark did so much, basically cleared the wave, the cannon minion gone, the tower aggro switched directly to Trevor, so he had to take one extra auto attack from the turret right there, basically forced to back away before anything can finish. And Ysera basically survived a three-man collapse. Tidal wave bubble did not connect coming from Hamiz, which is understandable because Ysera, especially at the later stages of the game, once, you know, all of the cooldowns in the world are going to culminate into this monster with as such as a Riven, it's going to be extra slippery, just going to have a lot of movement, uh, just have a lot of mobility in general, plus the shields to try and outplay Team Secret. Again, there's just so many skill shots here, like the bombs, uh, like Hamas's utility as well with the bubble and the tidal wave. So as the game progresses, Team Secret will have a hard time catching Ysera. 
Yeah. Much more value for Flash Rules as time goes on. Flash Rules is on a ticking time bomb here. If you put it into late, if you put it at 15 minutes, and the gold still stays consistent, is looking for them at a more dominant phase, at a more dominant possession in this game too. Now, Team Secret has to do something, and what that is, is still something that we need to discover because Team Secret has to get that lead at this state. Team Secret desired to use Azar as that big transition if things can I mean you are on a Renekton that means there is that option to snowball out of control while that did not happen Team Secret still has scaling Chewie and Tatsuri are gonna insanely hurt come the late game just as you mentioned for Flash Wolves of course they've been focusing Bruce when it comes to the side lanes giving him the waves that is the reason why even though it's zero deaths zero kills so far we get to see bruce at a 1k gold lead versus tatsuri because again flash wolves has been giving all of the side lane waves to him to make sure that in the next fight which is going to be 20 seconds bruce will be in the lead when it comes to the items versus tatsuri on his matchup and as well though chewy it's on the other side of the spectrum just a couple of you know gold differences between the two 80 carries so it is not uh, it's still looking good for Team Secret. Yeah, it's very commendable coming from both teams, right? Flash Rolls came in with this type of strategy with a brink of time because Team Secret, they know at this time, nine minutes, they already had that Rabdon tech cup and that is something we need to look mm -hmm. at. But Trevor goes in, Side initiates wave. a fight with the Assault and Battery to follow up with Nami's tidal wave, knocks on the enemy team, Flash Rolls forced to back away wow. and Team Secret will do the same, but Flash Rolls will hold on. Ocean Dragon going to be left standing. Trevor, so very damage. low, almost getting down, but Nami saves him. Loot and Zayeko almost secures it, but he can't. And Flash Wolves still no kill, and Team Seeget doesn't have any as well. Flash Wolves did not take any damage at all because of, what, the locket enchant by the time the Mega Inferno bomb dropped. The fact that there's just, again, I repeat, two shield sources on the side of Eason and locking therefore every single time Tatsuri wants to poke them out the shields the sustain the heal in general is just there to catch it and at this point of the game 10 minutes it's just very very early for Team Secret to create impact uh, when it comes to the damage department and that is the reason why Flash Wolves can sit there and look pretty without the fear of Team Secret overwhelming them when they engage in these fights. Yeah, they cannot just simply replicate on what they did in game one because it's a whole different story. It's a whole different timeline that we saw from them, right? Teams, you get at 10 minutes already, what? 10 kill lead up against Flash Wolves. Now it's still staying consistent at zero with Flash Wolves taking two dragons away from them with huge sustainability aspect from this team. So they cannot just do that because currently, Ziggs needs that Rabdon set cap, that 40% increase in AP damage. Because right now, he's only running with Ludens Echo and that large rod to deal damage with Bruce or a 2k gold lead when it comes to mid lane individual matchup. Yeah, already having the Solari Charge Blade, so just a bun of, bunch of crit procs on the side of Bruce alongside with the Essence Reaver. So Team Secret will definitely need a lot of these anti-healing items to just deny locking in Eason, or rather locking, just locking in general uh, when it comes to the sustain. But of course, not a, there's no answer for shields at the moment. You know, it's not the same, I believe, for Necton from League <laughs> PC to this yeah. point of the game, uh, Wild Rift rather. So Team Secret will just have to rely on their scaling later on to out damage uh, Flash Wolves or rather just penetrate through the healing and the shields that Flash Wolves has. Yeah, Team Seagan needs to look for that opportunity. And if they could, they can penetrate onto Flash Rolls on how they play this out. But constantly, right now, 11-minute mark. This is the start of the uprise for Flash Rolls. They're now consistently getting those pressure in. You're seeing their pathing for Flash Rolls. Top side controls the lane. And this, I believe, will stay consistent up until 15 minutes. Yeah, especially Infernal Drake, where Team Secret will be forced to contest with that. Because Flash Rolls is going through the long haul of contesting the Elder Drake. Getting that stack on with two dragons, potentially three, gathering that big true damage buff for themselves to strong arm their way into these fights. We'll see though. This looks like it's gonna be a fight. No, it's just a dewarding battle for both teams. <laughs> 
Yeah. The warding battle, poking nope. battle, but Esara changes things up. He goes in, initiates a fight. Trapper to come know. through with the assaulted Ooh, battery. First blood. first blood coming from Team Secret gets another. That's gonna be a uh, flash wall forced to back away. Cookie's very it low. Is... And now it's another. It's is Esara I... living at a brink of death wow. as he will die in the next second. And Team Secret gets two, flash wall gets none. What a fight from Team Secret. And primarily, I'm looking at Azar there. He basically kept Bruce busy in the back line. Therefore, Team Secret had this space for Tatsuri and Chewie to basically shred down Ysera and as well as locking during the initial engage. Let's take a look at that again. Trevor just dancing his way through this. He's practically pretty much unhealthy when it comes to the HP bars. But at the same time, uh, Trevor still managed to survive throughout all this. Look at Bruce. He's so busy with Azar to the point that, again, he cannot finish off targets like Trevor, who was practically low, who basically entered the fight first. And again, basically denying mm -hmm. the Bruce show so far in the 13-minute mark. But take note, Bruce has been farming throughout the side lanes. He was 3k gold lead ahead of Satsuri. But Chewy has been doing a good job equalizing this just because, again, you're, on paper, your 80 carry matchup is Bruce and Chewy at this point. Yeah, and as we all know, Kaisa the late game is nuts. And if teams can just utilize this opportunity as a late game composition to fight against Flash Wolves, they can trade this back. But now Trevor going for an aggressive push. Tried to get the seal onto the Infernal Dragon. Half HP. Oh, That's a sword and battery from Trevor to follow through into the fight. Azar wow. gonna get that kill. It's Camille going down. Lost jungler for Flash Wolves as they take the trade. As Trevor will die. No junglers for both teams. 300 HP for the Infernal Dragon. No one will take it. Going. But Team Secret will steal oh, it. Attack. And now Flash Wolves will only have to look at Hamids as they take the ace. The dragon for their nace for flash wolves yeah they get the dragon seal but it doesn't change the fact that flash wolves there's a lot of death timers on the side of team secret therefore flash wolves can just continue on with this push they still have their 80 carry alive they're gonna most likely go towards the baron and not push through an inhibitor tower it's gonna be risky they're just gonna use this window as an opportunity to get the baron uncontested yeah and seed minions go Go Siege Minions, and they take the Go. tier 2 turret. And now they're going for the Baron Nasher because they can do it. And now Team Secret has to adjust. They need to defend because Flash Wolves is now having the driver's seat off this game number two. Having 4k gold lead, having the Baron buff, and having two dragons in their pockets. It's looking very dire for Team Secret at the moment if they cannot do anything in return. Yeah, it's so difficult for Team Secret to enter these fights. It's always going to be Trevor starting off this fight, but you're always going to be greeted by a crescendo as an anti-engage tool for Team Secret. And look at this follow-up. Basically, Chewie manages to take manages to take down Cookie at this point. He took a binding to the face as well, so he could not go near for any sort of follow-up. Eason, Bruce, and Locking were basically tag-teaming together to make sure that they're all alive. Getting all the shields, getting all the heal. And at this point, you know, Hamez cannot compete with the healing that Locking and Eason provides. On top of that, again, they have shields. Now it's up for the defense. They have the Tsuri for the wave clear, but how far can that do? Now Trevor initiates the fight. What? This is what they want. They get the kill onto Eason and now they're fighting 4v5. Flash rules need to do something. Cookie with the Stasis Engine cancels down Sarah. with the Isaac Ultimatum locking down on Trevor. Trevor will be 1 HP as he falls down with Bruce catching up. Double kill for Flash Wolves and trade only for one for Team Secret. Yes, Sarah did so much in these fights. They were able, he was able to create chaos in the back line. Tatsuri and Chewy were just so busy trying to create the space so that they're comfortable because Sarah again kept pushing towards the back lane and now they're losing towers. Yeah, they're split pushing, getting the inhibitor turret into the mid lane. Natural lane pressure is now in favor for Flash Wolves and Team Secret is now on the edge off this game too. It's all about Flash Wolves going in for the pressure, utilizing the Baron buff, and now they're looking for that last, or second to the last inhib turret into the bot lane. Will not be able to do so though. So Team Secret succeeds in defending, but how long can they do this? How long can they delay this game too to try and make this different for them and win this fight? It's gonna be very, very close because we're all we are already at the 20 minute mark almost. This mm -hmm. is where Tatsuri and Chewie are supposedly gonna shine. But the biggest question is, will Flash Wolves give that opportunity? Because Yasera has been constantly pressuring the backline and therefore unable to kill the most 
the, the the single threat that Flash Wolf has, which is Bruce, and that's exactly why they drafted this composition, right? To make sure that mm -hmm. Bruce is still alive. Team Secret, they've fought this game before. They've played the, the base defenses before. Do not forget, Nexus, 87 HP, and they won that game still and is able to take the game back for themselves. I... It's still a possibility. Yeah, can Team Secret play this tower defense? Can they win the tower defense by placing strategy in this matchup? And ultimates are now being used. Clears at the wave. Tetsuri will use the mega inferno bomb. Huge call. But as you said, it it's the Bruce show right now for this game too. When we're looking at the items, Essence Super, Solar Charge Blade. Infinity Edge and even penetration with the Mortal Reminder. Absolutely insane damage later on in team fights against Team Secret. Yeah, Azar is just going to get shredded by Bruce over here. And we'll see. Azar is forced to clear down this wave right now, which I think Team Secret can buy Flash Wolves time, or, or buy the team time, rather, with a bomb. Yeah, Mega Inferno Bomb goes for the damage killer. Insect to follow through. Chewie gets a kill. And now Hexic Ultimatum to go dead. for the counter attack. But Chewie saves his enchant, delays the fight. That's going to be another GA pop. Sarah will live. One HP. That is going to be Team Guardian Secret Angels. controlling this fight. Can Guardian they do Angels. it? Cookie with a Stacey's enchant. Tries to live a little bit longer. Cookie. Uses up the flash. Tries to live. He will do as Flash Wolves will go out with only one man down. That's 33 seconds without Bruce, without the star player from Flash Wolves, without the AD carry of that team. Team Secret can now try to burn this down. Cookie has smite. They have to be careful. He's porting back. There's no one there. The dragon is going down so, so fast. And Isara can't jump in. He's half HP. That's going to be Barry used up because Time he wants leave. to live. Now the Elder Dragon is going to be secure, but Team Secret, this is a good objective for them to bring back this game. And Killer Insect Killer Insect. Chubby goes back into the backside, what? kills up one. Huge for Team Secret as now they return from their form nearing the gold disadvantage. Yeah, they have to port back. Port back. We've seen this before. Time and time again, Team Secret doesn't care if it's a 10k gold deficit. They will make sure to hold on. As long as the Nexus stands, they will fight. And right now, Flash Wolves hesitating a little bit to see if they can try and gain control over this Baron. Rift Scuttler is going to be enough. But now that the Elder Drake is in the hands of Team Secret with a true damage, this will assist them. And again, penetrating through the defenses that we talked about in Flash Wolves' composition. An extra shield coming from Team Secret going to be much more sustainable from the burst damage coming from Bruce. And now they're starting on to the Baron Nasher. They need to take this if they want to win. As Flash Wolves is now going for the contest. Mega Inferno Bomb. A lot of damage coming through. Trevor starts off this fight with the Assault and Battery. And now Cookie. Team Secret. Cookie is jumping Garrison. into the Baron. They might get what it. And they stole in the Baron Nasher. This is what Team Secret needs. But they lost it. And now Flash Wolves has the Baron to push down the lanes. And this is going to slow Flash Wolves Team Secret down here. As again, there's just a lot of waves building again. Take note, mid lane is so critical. Team Secret has a lot of towers to catch up into because the mid lane tower is basically still left standing. And at this point, Team Secret cannot siege. They have to make sure that they take advantage of the death timers. They still have to eliminate Bruce. And it's going to be incredibly, incredibly close. Team Secret has to defend and let the Baron buff expire. You know what? I think Flash Wolves is saying something. You know what? You steal me, I steal you. <laughs> they stole the Infernal <laughs> Dragon Team Secret a while ago, and now they stole the, the Baron Nasher. It's absolutely insane. But we need to look at on how happened in that Elder Dragon fight. Yeah, it's just so crazy because Cookie wanted bot teleport just to make sure that he's able to catch up. And look at this Baron fight again. Really nice initiative from Team Secret, but Hamas didn't want to join or didn't have access to join just so that the Baron doesn't reset. But because the Baron didn't reset, because see, all of Team Secret didn't leave the Baron pit, it gave Koki an opportunity to take advantage of the low health Baron and basically smite it out. Again, Trevor wasn't present anymore. He's the main engage, and that was just too close. So dire, Team Secret needs to hold on, needs to remove the Baron buff. They can't switch things up, but they need to stay alive for a couple of minutes to burn down the Baron buff if they could. But Flash Wolves continually pressuring in. It's now Team Secret holding for that position in this game, clearing out the wave. Flash Wolves continually pushing through into the bot side. Azar just waiting for that flank. If they could, if they win, this will be changing this game but flash will take the inhibitor third bot lane yeah, that's two inhibitors tower inhibs now gone and flash will still has a lot of baron buff to work with that means they can take on the inner tower for top side and team secret at this point they're only forced to defend 
in their inhibitor towers. They have no choice. They can't push through. They can't go deep into their jungle as it is riddled with wards from Flash Wolves. And the moment that they spot you in a very awkward position, they're going to swoop in. And that's not what you want, especially if you're near your base. Flash Wolves can basically strong arm your base, especially now that it is open. Yeah, and for the viewers watching at home, if Team Secret goes for the five-man roam, a lane would be open for them. And this is the cost of losing two inhibitor turrets at this late of the game, especially with Flash Wolves having so much damage built into Bruce, built into Cookie and Isera to bring down the Nexus in a brink of an eye. So this is something that Team Secret needs to take note because if they go in and lose that lane opportunity, Flash Wolves can just punish. And the Baron in the next one in 30 seconds will be so much value for both teams. It is highly valuable. 25, 25 seconds only for Azar to work with to make sure that the bottom lane wave is pushed and will buy them a little bit of time to do the Baron Dance later on. And with that, again, at this point, you see item locks scaling for Tatsuri and Chewie in their favor. So they have to make sure they eliminate Bruce. Ooh. If Bruce is dead, Trevor. they can win. Trevor almost face check and five man death brush from Flash Wolves. Coming, coming, in, coming in hot from Bruce. Clears out the wave. Good call. Gets the lane control down. Team Secret just holding on. Not gonna force an all in here up against Flash Wolves. Flash Wolves know that they can buy time. Two waves. Cover. They're going in. Vault Breaker with a sword and better. Huge damage Look coming up. It's now gonna bring Bruce? that bros in half HP. Bubble. Cookie will die. Jay gonna be popped. And Team Secret trying to get this control on the team fight. Puts that bros huge. And now Locky will die to follow up. It's at one HP. Double kill coming from Tatsuri. And Team Secret brought down the party. And they're going for the push. They're going for the mid lane. And now it's Ezen at half HP. He needs to live. He needs to survive to defend. And there it is. It is 40 second, 30 second death timers. They're sending a Zard down bot to defend to the waves that are building towards bottom side. And now they can feel it. They can feel the 2-0. They're going in to face Bariram to get a chance for the Horizon Cup. One more, one more team secret. You need to get the Nexus. You want to bring it down. And Flash Walls will not hold on. And team secret Ooh. will win the series to fight BRU for the last lot for the Horizon Cup.